Hello everyone, what's up? It's me again, Hat Boy Hobby, and welcome to another episode of our favorite hobbies, hoops, toys, and sneakers. So, wag na nating patagalin because you guys have seen the video thumbnail, you guys have seen the title of the video. Yup, we are going to review the latest card set that I have completed, and I'm talking about this card set right here, the 1996-97 UD3 Hardwood Prospects. So yun nga guys, uh, if you feature ko or uh, check out natin yung 1996-97 Upper Deck uh, UD3 Hardwood Prospects, itong cards na to guys. So um, I just completed this card set siguro like two weeks ago. Um, I received my COMC orders because believe it or not guys, this is a card set uh, of 20. So uh, meron akong dalawang missing kasi. And uh, the ones that are missing, yung dalawang yon, are the top dogs of this draft class. So, I'm talking about the draft class. I mentioned earlier, 96-97. So, the rookie uh, players ng time na yon, who else? Bastian, ni Kobe, and ni Allen Iverson. So, uh, just to name, uh, you know, the top two. Pero, you guys guessed it right. Yung dalawa kasi yung kulang dun sa 20 card set ko. So, uh, two weeks ago dumating na. So, I'm so happy. And uh, yun nga, pagdating niya, I was really very excited and I can't wait to share it uh, to share this with you guys. So, ito yung dalawang dumating guys na huli. So, Hardwood Prospects. So, ito siya. Si Allen Iverson and of course, si Kobe Bryant. Just so you know, uh, I'd like to shout out pala dun sa uh, tao who helped me uh, complete this card set. Siya yung responsible actually for me getting this. So, uh, shout out kay uh, brother uh, Ronnie Madrigal of our local Facebook group here in the Philippines. Kasi he accepts Comsi order. So, if you guys are looking for some cards na rare or pretty much hindi nyo makita dito sa Pilipinas, so uh, PM nyo lang guys, Ronnie Madrigal, if you guys are members of our Facebook community ng card groups, uh, most likely nandun siya. Since kami-kami rin naman or same lang din naman yung mga members niya, um, majority of them. So go check me lang guys. So yeah. So I know you guys are excited for us to check this out. So um in a bit we're going to check it out. But just like what I tell every video guys, help me grow my channel. You can subscribe to my channel. It's Hat Boy Hobby. While watching this video, just hit that subscribe button dun sa baba. You guys can also share uh this page or this video. Um also you can follow my Instagram and my Facebook pages, which I'll be flashing uh, later. Or actually, nandyan lang sa kabila. Uh, you can also see it in the description of the video. So, there. I know you guys are excited. I am too. Um, ano pa natin? Let's check it out. 96.97 UD3 Hardwood Prospect. Okay, let's get the party started. Let's go ahead and check out now this 96-97 UD3 Hardwood Prospects. Uh, as mentioned guys, this is a card set of 20. So, uh, itong nasa kamay ko guys, uh, 17 and then silang tatlo, my top 3 favorite players from the class of 96. So, there. Uh, I decided everyone or every card to be inside a top loader, of course, to protect them from any damages or whatsoever. Um, you guys all know, if you guys are card collector, if the card is damaged, the value of it will basically depreciate. And that's something that we don't want to happen. Uh, especially, guys, if your cards are really in mint condition, you guys would prefer it to be graded. So, kung medyo damaged na siya. Olets na siya sa uh, pagpinagrade nyo. So, sayang yung, yung pera yung, uh, na ginasas nyo for the grading itself. So, there. Okay? So, um, just so para patunayan natin guys na 20 cards sila, bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, there. Okay? Now, check out natin sila isa-isa uh, isa -isa, guys. Per player, I'm pretty positive, guys. This is a trip down memory lane, especially yung mga kaedaran ko because 
This is uh, mid 90s. So we have Kerry Kittle, Stephon Marbury, Jermaine O'Neal, Sharif Abdurrahim, Antoine Walker, Eric Dampier, Walter McCarty, Todd Fuller, Tony Delk, Marcus Camby, John Wallace, Vitali Potapenko, Steve Nash, of course, Derek Fisher, Samaki Walker, Roy Rogers, Lorenzen Wright, Ray Allen, Allen Iverson, and of course, the great Kobe Bryant. So there, okay? So check out natin yung design niya, guys. So kunin ko si Ray Allen. So for Ray Allen's card, guys, uh, this picture was taken from uh, their media day. So some of the cards here are from media day. Yung some naman is from live game, like kagaya nitong si Kerry Kittles. Uh, this is a live game. Uh, on the other hand, si Ray Allen, itong uh, picture na ginamit niya dito is from uh, their media day. So check out natin yung front panel, guys, of course. There is the branding, the UD3 silver foil. And then, ayan, guys, hardwood uh, prospect. Kung makikita nyo, guys, yung print niya is really hardwood. And then the team that the player is um, playing for, of course. So there. The back panel, guys. Ito yung something na hindi na implemented right now with Panini. Uh, well, correct me if I'm wrong, but based on my observation, kung ano yung picture nila sa harap, yun din yung picture nila sa likod. Unlike the old school um, uh, cards like this, mga 90s, 80s, uh, iba yung nasa likod most likely. So just like this, okay? And then, of course, check out natin yung uh, hologram, of course, ni Upper Deck, the branding itself. And then, um, kung makikita nyo guys, uh, since back then we don't really have internet yet. So, um, this is something that is missing for rookie cards nowadays. Uh, uh, back then, they feature, or the company, the card company features their stats uh, back when they were in college or high school. So, ito guys. That's why back then, uh, collectors like uh, us, old school collectors to be particular, um, since wala pa ang internet, we know where, or I mean, uh, where and when uh, the player attended college. So, like for this, uh, three years si uh, Ray Allen sa Connecticut, and then ito yung stats niya. Wow, 23.4 points per game. Wow, cool. And then, uh, another thing, guys, back then, may readables. So, um, I think wala na masyado nito sa panini right now, but look at this. So, as a senior at Connecticut, Allen and the Huskies enjoyed one of the best single season in the Big East Conference history. Allen helped lead UConn to a school record of 32-3, and as well as the 96 Big East regular season 17 and 1 and the tournament title so there ang kalaban nila dito noon of course Georgetown si Allen Iverson so key yung uh, basket ni Ray Allen doon eh napaka clutch ni Ray Allen doon last play if you guys can see medyo binali niya yung tira and then ayun giving them the of course the nine, uh, nine, uh, NCAA uh, championship so there ayan guys Ito, like for Iverson, two years lang siya sa Georgetown. So there. And then, the readable right here. Okay? Now, if you guys are gonna be talking about the prices of these cards, um, of course, medyo in the mix siya. May sobrang mura. Like, alimbawa si Potapenko, 40 cents lang siya. However, ang pinakamataas niya dito uh, is, of course, who else? Si Kobe Bryant. And I'm very happy to... Um, finally get one bago pa siya tumaas because when I got this 2-3 weeks ago, nasa $100 na siya eh, sa Beckett ang book value niya or ang Beckett value niya. So now surprisingly last week guys nag shoot up yung prices ni Kobe Bryant believe it or not guys, nasa $150 na itong card na to. That's why I'm so happy. Plus nung nakuha ko to kay Comsi, even though the book value of this card is already at $100, nakuha ko siya around $75 lang yata, $75. So there, okay. So check out natin si Kobe, of course. So tatanggalin ko si Kobe sa top loader para mas makita natin yung uh, design of this card. So here it is. I'm gonna remove it as well from the penny sleeve. So here. 
Ito siya guys, hardwood prospects. If you guys can see, ayan guys, hardwood talaga siya. The texture of this one is really like that of the hardwood. So, ayan. And then, kung makikita nyo, look at that guys. Meron siyang rainbow foil. Which makes it really awesome. Pero, ayan, kung makikita nyo guys. There you go. And then, the back portion is same. Uh, rainbow foil din siya. And, ang ganda kasi ng... Um, photo na ginamit here uh, kay Kobe. This is media day. And then kung makikita nyo guys, I forgot the name of this uh, Adidas eh. But this is the era of the Fit You Wear Adidas equipment campaign nila back then. So, there. So, ang ganda ng card guys. Promise. And then, itong sa liko din. So, there. Ito. Let's check it out. So, four years uh, of high school career. Um, Kobe Bryant averaged 30 point, uh, 8 points per game. Look at that. It's really promising right there. He is really a promising rookie nung uh, pumunta siya sa uh, NBA. And just so you know guys, Lakers, hindi siya dinraft ng Lakers talaga. Ang nagdraft sa kanya is, is Charlotte Hornets. Dinraid siya, I think, for Vlade Divac. And... Um, some, uh, I don't know, basta si Vladi Divac ang naalala ko. So there. That's why yung ibang Kobe kicks ng Nike merong colorway ng Charlotte Hornets or it's called the Draft Day colorway. So there. Okay. So ayan guys. Yeah. Uh, a mint condition of this one is at uh, $150. Look at that. So let's put it inside the top loader <laughs> bago maaksidente and something that we don't want to happen. So there, okay. So I'm just really happy that uh, I was able to get a Kobe Bryant UD3 Hardwood Prospects because again, guys, $150 to right now with the arrow up, meaning anytime soon, this card will still appreciate. So there, guys, okay. So again, we just reviewed um, this awesome and sick and dope uh, card set the 9697 UD3 hardwood prospects